So the other video showed a two-way analysis, uh, but sometimes you want to do a three-way one. Uh, perhaps we've got uh, the view on music, we've got food, perhaps we want to put in gender as well. Well, let's have a look at how we can do that. Now, with Google uh, Spreadsheets, you can only do a two-way graph. With an Excel one, you can do a three-way. So what we'll do is put this into Excel. and. Sometimes Excel produces quite nice graphs anyway, so you might want to do this from the start. If we go to Download As and Download as Microsoft Excel, the file will appear here. And enable editing at the top. First thing you want to do is actually save it somewhere. So we'll go File, Save, Browse, and I'll just put this into our location for what I'm doing today, we'll call this freeway, and this file will be shared with you and available via the learning chat. Sorry, not the learning chat, the uh, Google Classroom. Okay, right. So we've got our data that we've uh, used previously. What I'm going to do here is uh, copy and paste this again and put it into here, but this time. I'm going to put an additional right click and click insert and then you'll get a column by the side. So here what we're going to have is a breakdown between male and female. So I'm going to insert by right clicking on these rows gaps between the different foods. And then we'll have male and we'll have female and I'll just copy that to all these other cells. Okay, and we'll get rid of these numbers. Okay, so what we'll do here is the three way analysis. So we'll get rid of those there, and what we can do is to put in equals and then you use count ifs again and it says criteria range 1 well let's have a look here so first thing we want to do let's do Chinese so we'll go to this list remember not to get the label at the top and then put in a comma and then our next thing is click Chinese because that's what we're looking for and then we put another comma in and you'll see that it goes to criteria range 2 well this time what we'll do is we'll highlight the gender I like those there, and then put another comma in, and then what are we looking for? Well, we're looking for male here. So I'm going to click on male, and then we're going to put another comma in, and this time we're going to look this time for uh, the music and strongly agree. So let's do the same one again. So we'll highlight the opera music, put another comma in, and then what we're looking for here is for strongly agree. So press that. Now previously, you probably remember that this works, but if we were to drag it down or drag it across, uh, we need to fix the ranges. So we're going to do this here. So first range is here. Just press F4, press F4 again, and a range there. We'll press F4. Okay. Now for B41, which is that and that, we will need to put a comma in, sorry, a dollar in the B column because we want this to go downwards but not change from the B column. For C41, which is male, we want this to stay in the same column but we want it to go down. So again, what we're going to do is put a dollar and C. And for this one, the D40, which we strongly agree, we want it to go across but not down. So here, what we're going to do is put a dollar before the 40. And when we press the Enter key, this is going to work. Okay. Now, uh, what this is doing is checking against Chinese. And when it gets to this point, where well, you don't have anything. So we're just going to copy these down. And then we will just drag this across 
and then drag down. If you go too far, we can just go here and just press the delete key. Okay, so we'll drag down. And now, if we were to highlight all of this, we'll see what happens. So we'll go to insert menu, choose perhaps a column chart. Let's do a standard one. Now what you'll notice is it's putting in Chinese twice and kebab twice, so we need to sort this out. So we'll delete this chart and we'll go back. And now what I'm going to do, I need this information uh, without the formulas in it. So I'm going to highlight all of this, do a copy, and then I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to do a paste and go up to this one called values only and now it's put it back in there but all the formulas have disappeared, it's just the figures and now we can go in and delete the second label just there Okay, and then we can highlight it all again and then go up to the insert menu and then do it as a chart go here and then this chart's created and you can see a lot more information from this so we can see for instance that uh, no females wanted Chinese, they all had kebab, McDonald's and Indian. Pizza again was male only and uh, lots of uh, males like kebabs there. So you can see that this is a very sort of informative chart but again we need to convert this to percentage and so that the way that we do that is exactly the same as before. Let's have a little go at doing it. So we'll move this chart up and then we'll make a copy of this Okay, but this time what we need to do is have a percentage, a number for the Chinese and male and female so what we're going to do here is do exactly what we've done previously so we'll copy this, put it into here, copy the, the labels down okay. and then we can work out a percentage and to do this we need to work out the total of people that said Chinese and said male. So if we put in equals and then we'll do a count ifs, we'll select our first range which will be the foods, we'll put in a comma and we will then say Chinese, we'll put in another comma and now we're going to do male and female, the genders, so we'll highlight all of those, put in another comma and then check it against the gender. Okay. Now uh, here we're going to uh, fix this for when we go down, so we need to fix the ranges, so I'll go to this F2 to F24, press F4 on both of those, and then as we scroll down it will check against these uh, correctly so we don't need to put anything else in, so we press the enter key and we can see there's eight people that said Chinese and male, zero that said Chinese and female, so now we've got our numbers. Okay. So what I can now do is then copy all this once more because we'll work out the percentages. So we'll copy that. Um, I don't have to copy these numbers as well but just to make it easier I'll do that. We'll put those there and now let's do exactly the same as what we did before. So we put in equals and then it's out of a hundred divided by the total of people that said Chinese males and then because when we drag across we want it to remain in the 8 column we're going to put a dollar before the A and then we go right to the end and we're going to times the whole lot by the information that's there too. Press the enter key and there you go 25% of Chinese males say they strongly agreed that they like opera music but now we can drag this across and we can drag down and actually the reason why that's not working is because we've got zero for the Chinese females 
and so if you get this just go through and put in zero into those and the chart will work fine it's just quicker than putting in the code to prevent that problem so if we highlight those again let's highlight everything apart from the totals and now go to insert and chart again we'll choose one of those and now that's worked out as a percentage of the people that said these things. So you can see that Indian females, 100% of them said that they like opera music and 50% of female, well the, ma the females are the only ones that like McDonald's, but 50% said they disagree and 50% they strongly disagree. So it shows us some nice patterns there. Okay, So all of these are now done as a percentage and it looks a much better way of doing it. The reason why male Chinese looks so small is because they had a uh, wide disparity of their views and also not everybody completed the question. So that chart shows a great deal of information and that would be a really nice one to put in your assignment.